The Afghan hound is aloof and elegant, yet underneath his long, stylish coat pulsates the core of a tracker. He was reproduced to Corsponi and Gazelle over the tough territory of his local Afghanistan. Today, this medium-sized sighthound, weighing 50 to 60 pounds, still has a solid intuition to run and pursue. Try not to buy an Afghan hound except if you're set up to make a pledge to cover care and exercise. He isn't a lounge reptile in necessities along daily walks on chain or an opportunity to keep running. The Afghan hound is an independent thinker, but he is trainable with the use of positive reinforcement techniques, particularly with food rewards. Start preparing when he is youthful and still to some degree flexible, continue instructional courses short and fun, and maintain a strategic distance from harsh corrections. The Afghan hound is from Afghanistan. Yet little is known about his initial history or to what extent he has existed. A drawing of one of the dogs, sent home by Thomas Stewart Broughton while he was in India in 1809, was distributed in a book of letters in 1813, so the breed has unquestionably been around for over 200 years and likely especially more. Studies of the canine genome demonstrate that the Afghan slides from perhaps the most established kind of dogs. The canines in Afghanistan were found in a few distinct sorts, contingent upon the area they were from. Pooches from sloping regions were progressively conservative with darker, heavier coats, while desert-dwelling dogs were increasingly rangy, with coats that were lighter in both shading and volume. They were utilized to course quick running match-up, for example, deer and impala, just as bunnies, wolves and jackals. Chasing an organization with falcons, they flushed quail and partridges for the hawk to cut down or the tracker to shoot. English military officials carried the canines toward the west subsequent to being presented on the India-Afghanistan border. Afghan hound ceased to exist in Europe during World War I since nourishment deficiencies restricted the reproducing and keeping of dogs, however rearing started again in 1920 when some desert-type Afghans were imported to Scotland by individuals who had been positioned in Baluchistan. A portion of the mountain-type dogs were sent from Kabul to England in 1925. During that decade, Americans imported a portion of the Afghan hounds from Britain. The American Kennel Club perceived the breed in 1926, yet the Afghan Hound Club of America wasn't framed until 1937. Today the Afghan positions 86th among the breeds enrolled by the AKC. The Afghan's coat can be any color or combination of colors including black and tan. The comedic actor Zeppo Marx was an early fan of the Afghan, importing two from Britain in 1931. The Afghan hound stands out for his distant gaze, long, silky top knot, beautiful coat, prominent hip bones, large feet, and ring tail. Afghan hounds won best in show at Westminster in 1957 and 1983.